If you're a bass player, grab your bass because you're about to relate to this. What if everyone is a boy Lord Vecchi from Lord Vecchi's group lab? And if you're a bass player, you probably get fed up with routine warm up exercises like. Or. Or. Anytime you pick up your bass, making your warm up session a little less challenging and boring, unless you decide to increase your metronome speed, right? But what if. You want to remain at the same speed just to get some clarity but you want to feel that stretch that pain you know that stretch in your left hand that makes you feel good about your warm-up session am i right or am i right so i put together a little exercise that will do the trick check this out So I kind of put the exercise together into three sections. Section one. I start off with the chromatics. Then from the last note of the chromatics, I move diagonally down. Then continue with the chromatics again. From this point, I move back up diagonally again. Now the second section is just a normal chromatic exercise from top to down.
Now the third section is where it gets a little challenging. I've actually done a whole lesson on the third section. So if you haven't checked it out, do check it after this video. And the third session is based off of the chromatic scale. But unlike the chromatic scale, what I'm doing is I choose one particular fret and then skip notes in it as I run the chromatic scale. After that, I choose the next and then I choose the next. So the third session looks like this. So here I choose this fret to skip the notes in. After that, I choose this one to do the same thing. I choose this one to do the same. Then I do the same thing here. So from the third section, I climb back up using the normal chromatics. So that's all there is to the exercise. Notice that I'm shifting the whole exercise chromatically. So after I climb back up chromatically, I shift a semitone and repeat the same exercise. Then I choose this fret now because I've already chosen this fret to skip the notes in. I choose this fret now. So now I'm choosing this fret to skip the notes in. Then I shift again. That's all there is to this exercise and if you continuously do this exercise i guarantee you it will improve your speed it will increase your stamina on the base it will improve your finger independence and it will improve your overall dexterity on the base with that being said i want to throw a challenge i want you to do this exercise continuously and religiously for three weeks then come back to this channel and comment on how it has improved your bass playing <music>